हेलो 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 हाय गाइस गुड मॉर्निंग वेलकम बैक टू द न्यू वीडियो क्या हाल चाल सब चंगा सी आई होप दैट यू गाइस आर डूइंग गुड इन दिस वीडियो में सी प्रॉब्लम यूनिक लेंथ थ्री ऑफ थ्री यूनिक लेंथ थ्री पैरेंट रोलिंग सब सीक्वेंस सो लाइक इनिशियली व्हेन आई रेड द प्रॉब्लम आई थॉट इट्स अ डीपी प्रॉब्लम बट इट वाज नॉट लेट्स सी दैट हाउ वी अप्रोच इट एंड हाउ वी एक्चुअली सी द हिडन हिंट्स इन द प्रॉब्लम स्टेटमेंट इटसेल्फ सो Uh, if we just usually start reading, so it just says that we have a string S, the number of unique palindromes of length three. So first thing is unique palindromes of length three we have to find, which are the subsequence of S. Now subsequence, you know, I know that uh, is just uh, in the order, but you can skip the characters. Cool. Now uh, a palindrome is just what is something which reads forward and backwards same. Now I'm. Um, it just says that not that if there are multiple ways to obtain the same subsequence it is still counted as a one way so if i have a a b a and there are multiple ways to get a a b a still that a b a is just a one subsequence so it should be counted just once you will see that in the example itself but yeah and it just shows what's parent what's the subsequence so uh, what so if we just go and look so first thing was it should be of three length it should be a palindrome a palindrome of three length it is for sure that these two characters Will for sure be same, right? This can be different. This can be different. So one thing what we can infer from our point is it's a pattern of length three. So for sure the first and last letter should be same. The middle one it can change. So what we can do is okay. I know the first character is this. I should just simply go and check. Okay. I just want a last character, right? I just want a last character, which should be same as that. So I can just go and find for the other character, which is same as that of me. Now, Aryan, uh, there can be multiple other characters. It can be A here, A here, A here. Which one are you planning to choose? Which one are you planning to choose? I say that uh, let's take anyone. Let's take anyone. Let's take the middle one A. For now, let's take and let's see what will happen. So, okay, for sure, if I take one of the other A's, now in between I can take any character, any character, any character as in any of these I can take. So shall I? Okay, if I know the index is I, if the, I know the index is J, so I'll know. Okay, if it is a zero, one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I know for sure I have the five. Characters in between. So shall I take and say for this particular I J pair, I will have five subsequences. Can I write that? No, I should not. Why I should not? Because for sure this, I know it is a A. Okay, the the, the his next A at index one, and then this A. It's a one subsequence. Okay, that's a great subsequence A. a. But if I just go and ask again, if the first A at the index zero and the A at one two three four index four. And then again a, is it a subsequence? Yeah, it's also a. So for sure you counted that thing a a twice. So whatsoever you are taking in between, take it unique. So I will go and check in between this i and j. What all are the unique characters? A b c a a. They are just three unique characters. So for sure the number of subsequence which this i j can contribute are three. Now are you okay? It just seems fine that we took the starting and the ending as same, and for sure we took one of the A's which are forward to us, and then corresponding to that we know okay in between I have these characters. So are we planning to choose the J J J? And like every J are we planning to choose? I'll say no. Why no? Because let's say you took this J, right? Or let's say you took this J. If you took this J right here, still you will choose the number of unique characters in between, right? Now number of unique characters are zero, one, two, and three, three. If you took this J, still you will just choose the number of unique characters in between, right? So ultimately, what we are trying to say is, if we go and look at this example, small example. So if I had A here, I am planning to choose this right A. If why not some other a or why not some other i or j so i it was this i it was this j why not some other i or j now if i am planning to choose let's say if i just choose this next i and this j still you will see that it will actually make a subsequence as a any one of these two in between which is a either b or c and then a this is exactly same as what we saw if we have taken the first a itself so ultimately as a are same as a is a is same 
तो इट इज वेरी बेनिफिशियल फॉर मी दैट आई विल टेक द फर्स्ट ए एंड द लास्ट ए एंड एनीथिंग इन बिटवीन विल फॉर्म अ सबसीक्वेंस फॉर इट नाउ व्हाट इट हैपेंस आई टेक दिस ए आई टेक दिस ए सो एनीथिंग इन बिटवीन ए आई टेक दिस ए आई टेक दिस ए एंड नाउ एनीथिंग इन बिटवीन दीस थ्री आई फर्स्ट चेक ओके व्हाट आर द नंबर ऑफ यूडी कैरेक्टर्स इन बिटवीन एंड फॉर श्योर दैट विल बी माय number of things which can come in between of this a and this a and why it will not affect my answer because ultimately even if i have another a b c another a then still if even if i take this j then still what i will get is this a this a i can get but this a is also same so for sure unique characters a b c okay let's have it a d or e so what will happen is i can have a a B, C, D, N, E. Now, or in, what if you were saying, okay, if I would be having I here, then again you saw. If I was here, then still you would have got a A, D, N, A, which is same as what if you had a I in the beginning. So, I is just showing I in J just showing the location of A. To better take the extreme locations of A, just on the extreme left and on the extreme right, for sure you will can include everything in between. And in between, you just want number of unique characters, so as to form number of unique subsequence starting with starting with that character A and A, and it will not affect us because for sure I have only of length three. I don't have to go multiple in between. I just want the number of unique characters in between of every. character which means i just go and find okay what is the first location of every character last location of every character and i'll go and do it for every character which means i'll have it for a b c d and so on so forth up to z i'll go and find okay what's the first occurrence it's a zero what was last 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 occurrence 0 1 2 3 4 last occurrence is 4 and i'll just go and same make it for everyone if not then by default i'll just keep it minus 1 now i know this is one it can form one subsequ one palindrome of length 3 so i'll just go and check okay what are the number of unique characters in the length 1 2 3 I I can just take a sub like I I, I can make an unordered set and I put all these elements of in length 1 2 3 and I can just check okay what's the length what's the length what's the size of this particular set or sub or like unordered set and that will give me number of unique characters in this length 1 2 3 and with that I can just go on to all the 26 characters and just check so it will be nothing but 26 plus n that will be pretty much it let's see again uh why i thought of initially dp was because i thought okay it's a subsequence so maybe i have to figure out but then the catch was the length 3 in the length 3 you just need and again it's a palindrome so you need only the first and last character as same in between anything can change now the to make the first and last character as same just keep the first keep the last same and take the extreme ends so that everything in between you can take right cool let's quickly jump on the code uh it will be Pretty much as what we saw that firstly we need to have an unordered map. Ah, uh, saying okay for every character, what is the first and last location for it? So I can have a pair. Just saying that for every character, I will have. So let's have this character. So it will be start from A less than equals to Z and C plus uh, plus. Now for this character, we are just mentioning that. Uh, its uh, starting and ending locations are 0 0 or rather what we can do is we can just keep it int max and minus 1 and then update it accordingly it's up to you like how you want to do it so like we can actually have it as int max and minus 1 also now uh, what i'll do is i'll firstly try to have the initial what is the start index for every character and that should be updated only once because i want the already a start index of every character so i'll just go on to the entire length now i'll just say okay bro the current character for me right now is s of i so this character if this characters if like it map is touring for our answer if this characters first is minus 1 only then update this character so i'll just say mp of c dot first it will be actually nothing but this character i and the same i have to go and do for the last character although you can just do this in one line itself but uh, just for the simplicity and clarity i'm just showing you that uh, how we can do it in two lines so we will just go and now again do a second again checking just man mentioning that uh, uh, how to map our last character like location of that last character 
Now I have got the first and second. Now I need to find my answer. I just simply iterate on my entire map, which I have found so far. So that will be MP. Uh, P is just a pair. Now that P pair will firstly store that uh, what is the character. Now I don't need need this. What is the character right now? Because I just want to find the number. But let's say if you had a chance and if you wanted to find uh, the exact palindromes, which means I am just asking you. Okay, give me the all the num all the palindromes of basically all the su subsequences. Then this would have been used. This C would have been used just to print. Okay, C the new character question mark and then the C again. Now I will just have my start which is actually p dot second but p dot second was actually a pair now and start was being stored in first so i'll just do a first and same goes for end it will be nothing but again p dot second but that was again a pair so again uh, do a second on this now i know that i have to find uh, all the number of unique characters in this particular set so i'll just say okay it's st now i'll just go on to all of the characters but i plus one and less than my end so because you know that i plus uh, start is nothing but that a character but i want i j okay start and end but i want everything in between from the start and end so i'll just go in the start and end minus one range and i'll just push simply push this in my set an ordered set which is o of one operation so with this i'll just push this s of i in my set and then ultimately i can just add in my answer this size of my set and then ultimately return the answer so with this i can easily get for every character what is okay there's something wrong answer is zero 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 something we missed uh, and minus one i plus plus our set a to z we map for every character then we go on to every character great i did not assign anything here Cool. Uh, let's quickly submit and see. I just did not assign here, so that was it. Cool. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.